Google Play games leaked in screenshots, the Nokia Lumia 925 press renders also make the scene, and Google I.O. may disappoint you more than you think. I'm Jaime Rivera, and if you're offended by this jersey, well, hey, it's not my fault we won La Liga again. This is Pocket Now Daily. Let's start today off with some Sony news. The company has just announced their new Sony Xperia ZR, as if the alphabet has not finished yet. This device brings some decent specs. Probably the only thing that it doesn't bring up par with the Sony Xperia Z is that this one has a 720p display in comparison to the 1080p display on the Xperia Z, but the display on the Xperia Z wasn't really that great, and Sony has done a better job with their 720p displays. But that said, this device allows you to be used underwater, not just waterproof. I mean, use this thing for filming underwater aside from other things, as every single smartphone should be, so just stay tuned for the release dates and pricing. No information just yet. Now let's talk about Google Sundar Pichai, which is the head of Android, and Google Chrome was recently in an interview with Wired, and, well, he stated that apparently Google I.O. is not going to be about hardware. The company is going to focus more on giving developers the tools they need to do better things. Uh, well, you know, smartphones and tablets, you know, Nexus products are actually tools in Dart. Not sure where you're getting the information. This should only be a developer event, but sadly, apparently that's the case. And what do you think we're getting at this event, though? That's the next segment. And that's right, probably one of the things we're going to be getting at Google I.O. is their new Google Play games. Apparently it's not going to be called Google Playground. And we've got some recent leaked photos of what to expect, and it's not a game. It's not a gaming console, it's just another Game Center ripoff. It's the option for you to play games with other people, and that's pretty much it. You know, not really something groundbreaking, it's pretty much just Google catching up to services that are already provided by other smartphone platforms. And that said, well, it could probably be a very boring Google I.O. The event happens in two days, so stay tuned. Now let's continue talking about Samsung. Those of you expecting the Samsung Galaxy S4 Zoom, you know that apparent camera that's also going to be a phone, that's probably going to replace the Galaxy camera. Well, we've got some leaked photographs taken by that S4 Zoom, whatever they want to call that thing. Links down below for you to watch the full resolution photos, which were ironically taken in 1080p. Not sure why. They're probably filming a video while they were doing it. But anyways, aside from that, we've also got the confirmation from Verizon that the Galaxy S4, you know, the usual device, is going to be available at the carrier on May 23rd after a couple of delays that we know about, so stay tuned for that. Obviously, I know that a lot of people are waiting for the device on Verizon. And finally, for the hot news of the day, we finally have some leaked press renders of the Nokia Lumia 925, aka Catwalk. And yes, it has the aluminum chassis we were expecting, and a very big camera lens, as we saw in some leaked photos recently, and also in this new UK ad that's recently teasing everything that's going to be happening in the event tomorrow, which will most likely happen around 5 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Our own Anton Dinagi is going to be at the event covering everything live, and we'll most likely have a roundtable to discuss what we think about this device once the event ends. So anyways, that leads me to the question of the day. Um, what are your predictions for this Nokia Lumia 925? What are you expecting? Do you think that Nokia is going to leave it at the great camera and the aluminum chassis? Or do you think that Nokia is going to bring something else like we already have at the Lo Nokia Lumia 920? Um, in my particular case, honestly, if Nokia is just planning to bring us another aluminum chassis phone, it's not going to be that popular on my wallet. But uh, leave us a comment down below. What are you expecting? Is that enough for you? Would you want some more? Let us know. Of course, as always, for an earlier scoop of everything that's happening in the smartphone and tablet world, make sure you follow us on PocketNow.com and you can subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. You can also follow me on Twitter at Jaime underscore Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. Tomorrow is a hot day. We've got the Nokia Lumia 925 catwalk, whatever you want to call that thing announcement. Our own Anton D. Nog is at the event, so stay tuned for our live coverage.